It's quite surreal, actually, because it's been a very, very long journey from the time where uh, Mr. A.R. Raman called me over to Chennai and kind of scratched his chin and said, I think I want to make a film and I think I want you to direct it. And from Chennai to Busan, uh, it feels like I've lived a few lifetimes. <laughs> so, uh, and just between last night and this night, I've lived a few more. <laughs> so it's, uh, I cannot describe it in words, but I think I just tried. <laughs> So how do you feel 
and you are an emerging star in India right now. How do you feel about being invited in here at BIF and how do you feel about the film? Hello everyone. Hello. Hello. To begin with, I love Busan. This is my first ever trip to Korea and I haven't been to a more beautiful city than Busan. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for inviting our film. It's been a real pleasure. Um, so it's, it is a, a very pertinent question because firstly, uh, Indian films tend to have what's called a comfortable genre sort of context. Things appear a certain way, people speak a certain way, uh, and things tend to, you know, there is a syntax to the way typic a typical Indian film actually plays out. However, when I was 10 years old, there was, there was such a thing for Indian music as well. And then one man changed all of that for the last, you know, 20 years. And that man was A.R. Rahman, who's the, who's the guy who wrote the story and produced the film. So when I started collaborating with him as the director of this film, it became my personal, well, mission to bring in that feeling of making something Indian feel international so that the palette is universal. And it's exactly what he did with his music. He would, he had the Indian elements in it, but he would bring in a Western sensibility. And that is why he is perhaps our most, uh, you know, uh, he's a national treasure and he's sort of an artistic export that, uh, you know, the entire country is so proud of. And when you make, when, you, when you're taking some of his words and you take his music and you turn it to images and characters of speaking and walking and, and with, with the camera, with the costumes, with the places that we filmed in. Uh, it, it is very important for me that it, it presents India like the way he presents India, or he did when I was 10 years old. So uh, it's almost like there is something called Guru Dakshina in back home, and it means it is your offering back to your teacher. And this really was that for me. Music is felt, you know. So 
그두 배우분은 이 영화에 아 네네 일단은 너무 좋았죠 그렇다고 말씀드릴 수 있고 아주 솔직히 말씀드려서 음악 너무 좋아합니다 아빠가 이제 음악이 중독이다 이런 대사를 하잖아요 사실 그에 대한 답은 영화에 나와 있다 이렇게 말씀드릴 수 있겠습니다 여러분들도 영화를 보시면서 음악을 분명 느끼실 수 있을 거라고 믿습니다 그두 배우분은 어제 무대에서 잠깐 이제 언급이 됐었는데 이 영화에 출연하기 위해서 각각 드러머와 피아니스트로 등장했잖아요 1년 동안 실제로 그 음악들을 이제 음악가로 출연하기 위해서 어, 학원 같은 곳을 다녀서 실제로 그 연습을 1년 동안 하셨다고 합니다 다음 질문 아, 네. Various genres in your film, including dance, right? How was the collaboration with all the crews? And that's the question to you. And I also have a question. Yeah, it's a great idea. 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 아라비안 나이트를 갖다가 네, 집중해서 본것 같은 느낌처럼 정말 동화적이면서도 정말 새로운 경험을 준 영화였고요. 감독님과 그리고 이한 배우님께 각각 한 가지씩 질문 드려볼게요. 감독님 이 영화 같은 경우에는 종합 영화가 종합 예술이라고는 불리지만 이렇게 다양한 장르의 뭐 회화부터 시작해서 예. 시네마에서는 이제 피아노 연주도 들려주시고 작곡하신 음악을 직접 이제 그몇 곡을 들려주시기도 하셨는데요. 아쉽게도 오늘 아침에 떠나신 관계로 이 무대에 함께하지 못하셨습니다. 어, 네, 라우만님께서 이 영화의 시작을 이제 도와주셨다는 이야기를 관객 여러분들께 먼저 말씀을 드리고요. 네, 이제 백석에서 질문을 받아보도록 할까요? 네. He appeared in Indian movies before. In 2014, he appeared in one Indian movie, and this time for the open cinema selections, we chose two Indian movies. One of them was made by Shonan Lee director, and his previous work called Margarita with a Straw, he appeared there. And it was his debut film. So how do you feel? And you are an emerging star in India right now. How do you feel about being invited in here at BIF? And how do you feel about the film? Okay. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yeah. To begin with, I love Busan. This is my first ever trip to Korea. And I haven't been to a more beautiful city than Busan. Thank you for inviting me. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for inviting our film. It's been a real pleasure that you guys like the film. And so before I came here, apparently my friends have traveled here before, and I'm lucky enough that I got the chance to see this wonderful city. So thank you. <laughs> 맞습니다. 부산이라는 도시가 정말 아름답다라고 생각을 하고요. 부산까지 이렇게 초대해 주셔서 진심으로 영광입니다. 그리고 감사한다는 말씀 드리고 싶습니다. 그, 그... 오늘 이제 관객 여러분들과 함께 더 많은 이야기들을 나눠보는 시간을 갖도록 하겠습니다. In the outdoor theater, we did a... 그분이 계셔서 오픈 시네마에서는 이제 피아노 연주도 들려주시고 작곡하신 음악을 직접 이제 그몇 곡을 들려주시기도 하셨는데요. 아쉽게도 오늘 아침에 떠나신 관계로 이 무대에 함께하지 못하셨습니다. 어, 네, 라우만님께서 이 영화의 시작을 이제 도와주셨다는 이야기를 관객 여러분들께 먼저 말씀을 드리고요. 네, 이제 백석에서 질문을 받아보도록 할까요? 네. 네, 이맨 앞에 계신 네, 영화 정말 재밌게 봤고요. 정말 잠못 이루는 바람에 아라비안 나이트를 갖다가 네, 집중해서 본것 같은 느낌처럼 정말 동화적이면서도 정말 새로운 영화를 준 영화였고요. 감독님과 그리고 이한 배우님께 각각 한 가지씩 질문 드려볼게요. 감독님, 이 영화 같은 경우에는 종합, 영화가 종합 예술이라고는 불리지만 이렇게 다양한 장르의 뭐 회화부터 시작해서 예. How do you feel? In the line? 
The father says music is very addictive. Actually, last night was the very first time your movie was screened. It was world premiere. So, how do you feel about it? And were you also addicted? As I feel, as I said, I feel really, really excited that I got to see the film and we got to present it here in front of everyone. Uh, to be honest, I really liked it. I am an addict to music, uh, and just like the father said in the film, like music is an addiction. And there's an answer also in the film. If you see, there's a blind man, and uh, an old man tells the kid, "Never uh, Jane." The music is felt, you know. So, yeah. I'm an addict. Okay, the two actors in the film. This just you know, if anyone's listening and you want to watch the film, uh, you might want to just stop listening right now. But if you've seen the film, there it, it all comes back to a tune, and the idea was that there there was a tune that was passed through a lifetime, and that tune built a cocoon inside a boy's mind, and eventually developed into a full-blown composition that. Eventually, made him find out who he really is and where he belongs. So it really started with that tune, because if you actually, um, if you watch the film again, you will see that tune come several times, and it's only in the hundredth song does it come in that form. But even when uh, you see bits of the story before, particularly the music box and, and what happened when. It's quite surreal, actually, because it's been a very, very long journey from the time where uh, Mr. A. R. Rahman had called me over to Chennai and kind of scratched his chin and said, "I think I want to make a film, and I think I want you to direct it." And from Chennai to Busan, uh, it feels like I've lived a few lifetimes. <laughs> So, uh, and just between last night and this night, I've lived a few more. <laughs> so it's uh, I cannot describe it in words, but I think I just tried. 일단 말씀드리고 싶은 부분은 정말 믿을 수 없다, 굉장히 긴 여정이었다 이런 말씀 드리고 싶습니다. 먼저 이제 어, A R 라만께서 특전을 만들면서 영화를 한번 만들어 보고 싶은데라고 얘기를 했던. 묘사하신 게 굉장히 인상적이었다라고 생각을 합니다. 그런데 이제 영화라는 게 국제 영화인데 이게 인도에만 국한됐던 거였는지 감독님한테 질문 드리고 싶습니다. Um, so it's, it is a, a very pertinent question because firstly, uh, Indian films tend to have what's called a comfortable genre sort of context. Things appear a certain way, people speak a certain way, uh, and things tend to, you know, there is a syntax to the way a typical Indian film actually plays out. However, when I was 10 years old, there was there was such a thing for Indian music as well. And then one man changed all of that for the last you know 20 years. And that man was A. R. Rahman, who's the, who's the guy who wrote the story and produced the film. So when I started collaborating with him as the director of this film, it became my personal well mission. 기본적인 핵심을 말씀드리자면 이 곡조, 이 튠이라는 게 점점 더 진화해 나가죠. 그래서 이 주인공 남성이 삶을 살아가는 데 있어서도 이 튠도 점점 더 발전해서 마지막에는 하나의 곡이 되는 그런 작곡 과정이 담겨 있다라고 말씀드릴 수 있습니다. 그래서 이 주인공이 내가 사실 누구인지 그리고 내가 어디에 속해 있는지 내 소속감이 어디인지 이런 노래를 통해서 발견하게 됩니다. 그래서 한마디로 말씀드리자면 하나의 그 주인공의 여정이 담겨 있는 그런 노래였다 이렇게 말씀드릴 수 있겠습니다. 그게 백 번째 노래이죠. 그래서 영화에서도 관객분들이 보실 수 있다시피 같은 곡조, 같은 튠이 계속 사용이 돼요. 근데 그 튠이 구현되는 방식은 조금씩 다르죠. 그래서 어, 이런 것들을 말씀드리고 싶었고 그리고 최종본이라는 노래를 들으면 사실 무기도 갖고 있고 옷도 다 입고 있고 겉옷도 속옷도 다, 입고, 다 입고 있는 그런 건데 사실 그 안에는 항상 같은 게 있죠. 
드리고 싶다 결말에서 전환점이 있는데 이런 것도 잘 표현해 주셨다 이런 얘기 해주셨고요. 그러면 어, what is your plan for the next film or any plan project? Well, I think uh, I'm still drunk on this one. <laughs> so, uh, I think I'm just going to wait until uh, until it's it's you know flying high and I can't call it mine anymore. I still call it my film because we've just had two nights of it. But there, there comes a time when your film is not yours anymore, and people start calling it their favorite film. I think uh, the day someone says that, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna open a new final draft <laughs> and take it from there. 사실 저는 아직 이 영화에 취해 있습니다. 그래서 저는 좀더 기다릴 거예요. 이 영화 사실 이제 상영된 지 여자고 오늘하고 이틀밖에 안 됐잖아요. 그래서 저는 촉으로 쓰고 하겠지만 아직은 여기에 조금 취해 있다 이렇게 말씀드리고 싶습니다. Do you have any plans for the next film or any other project you're working on? Uh, I might very soon, but if you ask me what I want to, what, what type of character I want to.